guys, it's Abby from Make Like a Runway, and y'all, it's time. It's time to talk about my project pan for 20 and 20. This is my year-long project pan. <sighs> y'all, we're about to spend another year together. Can you, can you wait? I can't wait. I can't wait. So if you want to see the 20 products that I will be panning in 2020, then just keep watching. Here we go. I just posted last week my finish nine in 2019 and then I asked in Friday's makeup basket which video you wanted to see first. You're going to get both but whether you wanted to see my 2019 empties that are all makeup or my project pan for 2020 and 95% of you guys said project pan. So here we are. Oh guys. So I have everything in this Sonia Kashuk uh, makeup holder. This is from Target and I got it for Christmas and oh she's full y'all. She's full. So there are 20 products in here that we are panning. Um, let me take them out and then we will just talk through it. Okay. All right, they're gone, they're gone. All right, I have them laid out here beside me. So before I start talking about all 20 of these products, cause that's a lot, I wanted to give you kind of like how this is working or how I'm processing this in my head. So in the past, I have focused on like some sort of palette through the year or some eyeshadows. Uh, last year I did some in Z palettes and I did also a like face palette palette. <laughs> and one thing I have found is when I focus on powders like a palette for a year, I neglect all the other powders that I own. So this year for the 20 and 2020, it's going to be base products that are primarily cream. And then in my weekly makeup baskets, I'm going to rotate monthly palettes. So one month, which is what we're doing right now, this month we're doing a face palette, which is the Too Faced uh, Natural Face. Uh, I've been using this all month and only this for face products. So um, with the exception of when I work out, I talked about that in my video, my weekly makeup basket a couple weeks back. But so for this month, I pull no other face products. I just pull that and then my eyeshadow palettes I can rotate through each week in my baskets. Next month I'm going to pick a eyeshadow palette. So I'll only use that eyeshadow palette for the whole month and then that way I can rotate through my face products so I can use whatever I want. Then in March we'll go back to a face palette and just kind of go back and forth the whole year. That way I'm getting a lot of use out of my powders this year even though I'm not going to focus in and pan just one palette or focus on one palette. So that's where I'm at as far as powder products. So you're only going to see one powder product for 2020 and this uh, project, but I am going to still do the seasonal project pans um, as I go on. So some of these 2020 products will be in a seasonal project pan. Some you'll just see live in my makeup basket until it's done. Um, I actually already have my seasonal first seasonal project pan items here. That video will be going up soon. Um, but yeah, that, that's pretty much it. So these are going to be more of a rolling project pan because since it's a lot of items in one category, we'll just focus in on one. When we're done with it, we'll roll it out and then we'll move in the next item that's in that category. Once I finish that category, then that category is fair game for the rest of the year. I can use what's in my collection. I can buy something else, whatever that may be. Also, I'm doing quarterly no buys with the exception of gift cards. So I'm not going to buy anything for a full quarter in a year. When the quarter ends, I can buy something if I want. But if not, uh, I go into another quarter without buying anything. My uh, drive behind that is not spending my own money on makeup. That's why I say with the exception of gift cards. If someone is gracious enough to gift me a gift card, I'm going to use it. <laughs> okay, so I already used a gift card last week and, well, the last two weeks, so now I'm done with that, so we're officially, like, on no buy, uh, but I didn't spend any of my own money on the, the last 
hauls like the one that was last week and there'll be another one coming in this week's basket so that's kind of where we're at as far as my game plan for project panning and buying and all of that stuff i hope that you guys will join me on this project i'm so excited um, but like I said, we focused in on cream products because that's where my category is the biggest and I want to make sure that I use up products and I don't waste them um, or I pass them along as soon as I realize they're not good for me. So uh, a lot of cream products we're about to talk about and then there will be powder products and stuff in the seasonal project pans and that kind of thing. But I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So let's go ahead and jump into the first category which is primers. Oh, my nose started running. I don't know why. Okay, so primers is the largest category in this project pan, and that's for a couple of reasons. One, I own a lot, and even after we talk about these, I still have about um, maybe like four more down there, um, but those are pretty new. Um, year or less well actually all these are pretty new with within the last year but i know i can go through primers relatively quickly and uh i use primers every single day and i just don't want them to go bad oh one more thing i should have mentioned in the game plan is i'm going to start doing monthly favorites on my channel <laughs> all right so for primers Number one, this is the Catrice Prime and Fine Fresh It Up. This will be the first product of the 20 products that we are panning. And this one is currently about halfway. So this will actually be the very first thing we start using because I think I can just go ahead and get this out of my collection right away. I love it. It pairs well with pretty much every foundation that I wear it with. And it's super affordable. So this is going to be the first product. Again, Catrice Prime and Fine. This was the Aqua Primer, so it's really good. And I have dry skin if you're new here, so these products are all pretty glowy. The second primer up is the Flower Beauty. This is In Your Prime Illuminating Primer. I have already finished up a Flower Beauty primer. You'll see that in my 2019 empties, but this one um, is relatively new. I've only used it a couple times, so it's pretty, pretty close to the top here. Um, but the few times I have used it, I liked it. It's a nice glow under my foundations and I'm not sure what order I'll use all these after I finish that Catrice, but this is the second primer that we are going to use. All right, next are two samples that we're going to count as one. This actually might be the second thing I go through after Catrice, but these are the Hello Fab Coconut Skin Smoothie Primer Moisturizers. These are both full. They have not been opened. They still have the foil, or I thought they had foil, but, <laughs> but I've not used them at all. So I'm gonna count these as, well, I'm gonna count these as one product. I love this. I've gone through lots of samples in deluxe size. I don't know that I've ever owned a full one of this, but I absolutely love it. So this is gonna be our third primer that we're panning in 2020. Next up, we have the Smashbox Primerizer Primer Moisturizer. This is about one third full or empty. So we have about two thirds left and I bought this because of the hype during a 21 Days of Beauty by Ulta, and it gets so lost in my collection. So I'm really excited to focus time to only using this once I get to it. And this one has a lot of product in it, so this one will probably take me, uh, well, once you see the next product. The next product's gonna take the longest, but second to the next product, this is probably gonna take me the longest to use up because there is so much pro product in it. Um, but I can't wait till we get to this and we spend a lot of time, a lot of time using it up. All right, this is the one that I said it's probably going to take a long time. This primer is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Luminous Primer Stick. So this is what it looks like and I've only used it a couple of times. And this is not a best friend product. It can peel up under some products. Um, but there's quite a bit in here. You know stick products can be uh, deceiving, so we that that's going to take a while, and this one's going to be a challenge. I might save it till the end. <laughs> oh, this is called Do Me a Favor, and do me a favor, Wet n Wild, and don't let me down. Okay. 
All right, and then the final one that is not really a primer, but I'm putting it in this category because I think I'll end up using it. Um, I'm organizing over here. I think I'll end up using it with these kind of moisturizing based primers like the Catrice, the Hello Fab, and the Smashbox. But this is the L'Oreal Glotion. This one is in 901 Fair and it's up almost halfway, not quite. I can see the products right here. I'm going to roll this in right away with the Catrice and I think I'm just going to have a two-step priming situation where I do the Catrice and then I do this. I love this and these types of products work better for me as a base to my foundations opposed to like a liquid or cream highlight. That's just how I prefer to use them. This will be the final product in our primer category. So that is a total of one, two, three, four, five, and then six. So there are six of our 20 products all under the primer category. Okay, next up we have foundations and <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> Some of these are favorites. They're just aging. Okay, they're aging. So we need to use them up and I should be my winter color now, which is pretty fair, but I think because we haven't had a true winter, it's been pretty sunny, like it's sunny today. Um, I've been keeping a lot of my summer tan. Obviously not as tan as I was, but I haven't hit that fair point that I've been. So I'm definitely gonna have to like mix these products because <laughs> the colors are off. So the first one, which is almost empty anyway, so this will probably be the first one we start with. This is the Physician's Formula, the Healthy Foundation SPF 20, and mine is in LC1. And you can see it's all the way down to here, and this is one that has a wand, and I don't think, I think I've tried to take the stopper out and was not successful, so I'm gonna try it again. And I do like this a lot, and I've heard they're discontinuing it, which is like all the good stuff gets discontinued. But I think what I'm gonna do with this is use it down my T-zone and then go in with another foundation to uh, do the rest of my skin so it blends out. I just really, really love this product, but um, I think it's still too light for me. So that's the first foundation. And I think the one that I'm gonna end up mixing it with, if it's the right color, is our second product, which is the L'Oreal Unfallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear, and mine is in 415. This is pretty much full. I bought this last year when it came out, and because I've been panning so much, you know, sometimes products just get pushed to the side. So I'm hoping that I can go ahead and pair these two together. I think it might work out pretty well. Um, this one's gonna take a while to finish because like I said, it's pretty much full. So th those are the first two foundations. Then we're gonna go in with this one, which this is probably what I'll roll in once the Physician's Formula is done. This is the IT uh, Cosmetic CC Plus, and this one is in the color Fair. I, I'm so torn because I love this formula so much that I don't want to use it up mixing it with something else, but also I think this color is too light, so I've almost thought about buying a light shade to mix them up, but I don't know. This expires in August though and I definitely want to make sure it's gone. By then I have panned one of these back in 2018 if you've been following me since then and I immediately went out and repurchased another one which is this one because I just love it so much. Um, it's about halfway. Um, I don't, I just do I want, I don't want to mix it with something else, but we might mix it with the L'Oreal uh, Infallible or maybe the color will be right by then. So there's the third one. The next three are going to be uh, challenges. <laughs> First is the Mega Cushion by Wet n Wild. And this one is in the color Light Ivory. And obviously I can't tell how much product is left in here, um, but I like it a lot. It's a very light coverage. And I don't think it will take me long to use it because I have used it a good bit. It's just really hard to see how much is left, but there we go. 
And then next up is another product that is a little bit too light for me. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Cushion Stick Radiance Makeup. I do really like it, but again, it's super light. I used it a couple weeks ago, or maybe it was a month ago at this point, and it was still light. Um, but we'll see by the time we roll it in. This might be another product that I use in my T-zone and then use something else to blend it out. Um, but this is a really nice product, and it just has like a cushion at the end and it's a medium coverage foundation that I enjoy and I think it's probably pretty full or like a third empty so there's that and finally another challenge is going to be wet and wild um, foundation stick and mine is in soft ivory looks like this and I do like this product a lot um, I know it gets mixed reviews here on YouTube but I think it's great um, let me roll it up so you can see. I've used it a good bit, but as you can see, there is still a lot of product left in it. So this one's going to take a while. And this is probably the closest to my color right now, maybe a little bit dark. So this might be good to mix with some of these other products as well. So as far as the foundation category goes, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's six. That equals 12 of our 20 products. All right, next up are kind of the misc category. There's a lot of random in here that we're gonna go through, and there are six of these products. So, first up is this NYX Wonder Stick. This one is in Universal. I recently purchased this maybe like the end of summer, and y'all, I've never used it maybe like one time. And I think it's just because it's one of those products that gets lost in my collection. So this is going to be one that I need to roll into this project pretty early on. Because as you can see, it's basically brand new. I haven't even used it enough to know how I feel about it. But because it is a cream product, I want to get every dime, every penny's worth out of it. So that's the first thing. Next is a uh, What's Up by Benefit and this is a sample size and it's it's full. <laughs> Back in 2016, 2017, who's been with me since that long, I panned one of these and I remember loving it so much that when it ran out, I was like, I need another one. And then like a year or so went by, I got another sample and I haven't used it. I don't know. So I think it's sometimes with these cream products, it just takes a while to figure out how to work them into my like everyday routine. So there are those two. We do have one concealer in here. Um, you will see concealers in my seasonal project pans, but as far as um, what I want in here, this is my oldest concealer that was very generously gifted to me uh, by a former um, student. So sweet, but this is, hey girl if you're watching. <laughs> this is the Wet n Wild, um, what's it called? Photo Focus Concealer, and this one is in Light Ivory, and this one is pretty much full and I have like rolled it into a few project pans, not project pans, weekly makeup baskets, but I haven't really like set it aside to focus on it. So that's what we're gonna do here with this. And since I do have other concealers, I think what I'll do is try to use this most of the week, but then use some of my other concealers um, for like one or two days a week. Um, because I, I don't want, like I said, I don't want products in my collection to go bad because I'm panning stuff, but I also want to like, I want to pan it. So <laughs> there's that. And then this one I think will be fairly easy to pan if I put it on every day when I do my makeup. But this is the NYX uh, lip oil in hashtag this is everything. This is not everything. I don't love it. Um, but it is nice for moisturizing my lips as I apply my makeup. And I think if I do that every single day, it will go by pretty quickly. Um, I'm currently using the Laneige Lip Glowy Lip Mask in that way. And there's like basically nothing left in here. So I, and I'm already in the habit of doing that. So I think this will go pretty quickly. 
and this is gonna be like a huge challenge I have used this type of product in project pans before but I just remember like the commitment it involves but this is the nude stick um, eye color and copper foil this came in a boxy charm a while back and it's one of those that you sharpen down so like all of this is product um so i'm gonna have to be really good about using it i think if i put it on first and then put like a shimmer shade like eyeshadow over it that would work like this week i'm using these wet and wild uh eyeshadows this would be like the perfect co color combo to put this down first and then put the eyeshadow in or even with this one um which is an Earth by Wet n Wild. These were like their limited edition. Um, but these like color, whoop! <laughs> How many things have I dropped? Okay, this color combo would be really nice together. Um, I have the first one on my lids today. And then I blended it out with the Melt Stack in Rust. So that is what's on my eyes today. Um, but I think if I leave it in my makeup basket and use it like that, I didn't do that today, but I think we'll we'll make some progress that way and then finally in this category we do have one powder product and I plan to use this to set my under eyes I did it a lot in the summer and I really 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 loved it so that is the beauty pie this is the one powder wonder this was gifted to me by one of you guys hey girl <laughs> Um, but it looks like this and I really love it for under the eyes because it's very like finely milled and there's already like a little a little dip in it if you can see that um, but it's like pretty much invisible on the skin which is what these little under eyes need and that will also allow me to continue to use other powders in my collection on my face to set it like today I use my favorite Too Faced ethereal powder to set my whole face um, so moving forward this project officially starts today um i can go ahead and use both and so i'm still using what's in my collection but also getting a lot of use out of project pan items so like i said that is another six items so this brings us up to 18 of our 20 products so let's talk about the last two okay so the last two products are setting spray so the first one is the l'oreal lumi shake and glow do mist this one is pretty much full it's at the top Y'all, I do not like the sprayer in this, which is why I have not used it. It's so fine. It's kind of like that Morphe one. So, like, I feel like nothing is landing on my face when I use it. So, I haven't gotten, like, a true opinion about it. So, what I think I'm going to do is when I finish my MAC Fix Plus, I'm going to pour this in here because the sprayer on this is nice and it's easy to just like open both of them and switch them out so that's gonna be how I use it up so it'll be in a different uh, bottle once I get to it but I'm gonna finish this one up first and then the second one is the flower beauty seal the deal hydrating dewy spray this one's nice I've only used it a couple of times but I like the sprayer I like the product and See, you, you could like, do you see the force that one has? Like that's, ugh, that's what we need. So those are products 19 and 20, y'all. Oh, man. You might be asking Abby, but like, Abby, where are the lip products? Where, where are the other, like that, like that was all like one thing. That, like that's all you're doing? Y'all weren't listening to me. Y'all weren't listening to me. <laughs> All that other stuff will roll into the seasonal project pan. So, these products will be used in weekly makeup baskets. These products will be used in seasonal project pans. And hopefully, by the end of 2020, I'm, I'm aiming to be 100% complete on all these. The products that I think might slow me down are the stick products. I think the stick products. And like these cream products I think these are gonna slow me down so I need to go in hot with them well I already said I wasn't starting with these <laughs> but I need to like really focus in on these and so like I said we're gonna do it rolling like rolling style so I'm only gonna use this for a primer at all times once it's done 
then we'll roll into maybe these. And then once these are done, then we'll roll into maybe this. Might not be that order, but just giving examples. Same with foundations. We're gonna start with this one, and we're gonna mix it with this one. Once these are gone, then we'll roll in one of the other ones. Again, I will mix in some products from my collection so that I uh, do not neglect all these products. I'm pointing over here. If you're new here, that's where my collection is. Um, I don't want all these products to go bad, and I also don't wanna keep purchasing items on items if I can't realistically finish them. Like I don't want to buy to buy. I want to buy because I want it and I know I can go through it. <laughs> so yeah, that is my 2020 project pan. Let me know how you feel. Are you jumping in on this? Roll with me y'all. Roll with me. <laughs> but that is going to be everything. Let's come back Friday night. Uh, we'll do weekly makeup basket. Next week we'll do our nine in 2019. No, we already did that. We're gonna do our makeup empties of 2019. After that video is where you'll see the first seasonal project pan. I have my skincare project pan to wrap up with you guys. I have my makeup declutter and inventory to wrap up with you guys. Like so much content is coming at you and I'm spacing it out so that we can just keep the fun going. I don't wanna film it all this month and then we have nothing for like months at a time. So I know it's making me a little bit off the YouTube timeline as far as people have already talked about like their 2019 favorites. People already posted their 2019 empties. I don't know. Like I'm, I'm just behind. Okay. But I do have a 2019 favorites coming for you guys too. It might be in February. Whatever. <laughs> Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Let me know if you'll be panning along with me. Let me know. But that's all I have for now and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.